has forever been, and so it's now. But what can I tell you? It's already known. Therefore you're here. It's not about the hungering void inside you, consuming every little remains of what you once called yourself. Or perhaps it might be. Plenty come and plenty stay. Stay forever. Only a few leave this place. And so about you. I know your face. These scars and marks. You have been here, been here already, but what do I tell you? You already know, or perhaps you are still trying to keep something in the deep. Never mind, the day will come where you will know. The day comes for everyone, and for some, the day comes too late. And it's late. It's late for you. The first bells have already rung. But like flies are pulled to the light, so are you. Stumbling through the darkness, following every glimpse and spark of light. Perhaps there is still hope, even for you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Striving for Light. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to be notified when my videos go live. Uh, I do a lot of indie content, indie games, indie demos, full playthroughs, things of that nature. So hang around. So if you like this game, you'll probably like other things on my channel. This game was brought to my attention by the developer themselves. They sent me some contact information through my uh, Twitter. This is a rogue light ARPG where you utilize a unique infinite expanding skill tree to fight your way through the darkness striving for light. So it says full controller support. So we should try and see if that actually is the case. I have not played it, but I did boot the game up and I saw the intro and I'm like, I'm like, that's a long ass intro. I'm sure my viewers would love to see like a minute 15, minute 25 second cut of the intro. Plus the voice acting is uh, like flies drawn to the flame. So music's pretty good. Without further ado, let's uh, jump in. So, they give you keyboard. Okay, there we go. So, you move that. Uh, mini map. Booyah. Right bumper, left bumper. Changes weapons. Y, A, B. Attack. Left trigger. I guess that's dodge. Slight button opens the skill tree. You can temporarily deactivate skills to save resources. Skills can be ready at any time, okay? So this is the whole hook of the whole game is it's an infinite expanding skill tree. Which seems a bit daunting in nature to think like it never stops. But as we go through the game, we'll see how it works out for us. Probably not very well. I really use a sword. Combat seems a little slow, like that swing is a little slow. And there's a, at the bottom of it, I'm sure you can see is a, what I assume is a dodge. So we have three dodges. And we have three bars of stam. Oh, you want to talk to him? would see it again this sparkle in your eyes a weak flame i'm afraid to admit just about to be blown out entirely i have seen a brighter fire in your eyes when you arrived here a while ago it is consuming you like it's consuming everyone i uh, much remains of my strength seriously so you have to prove that you are worthy my time and energy 
Go out and free this place from the dangers lurking everywhere in the shadows. Return to me when you found a fragment of the great light, which was once complete and powerful, but is now scattered and weaker than it ever was. Do not let your inner flame wankish, wanderer. So, uh, in options, you can turn on experimental voice acting, which is what I did. Because I really don't want to be sitting here, uh, reading all that. That was a lot. Can I smack this thing? Nope. Can I interact with this thing? Nope. So let's see what we got. It has popular tags such as indie, roguelike, action, hack and slash. And on my Steam page it's like, hey, you played games like Binding of Isaac and Wizard's Lizard. So let's see how similar this is to those other games. Because everyone knows that the Binding of Isaac is a, a freaking masterpiece. Whoa! Okay, we're just going to die from the... Yeah, we just died to the first enemy. Yeah, no shit. So let's cheese him. Jeez, I can't get away from him. So the enemies are a lot faster than you are. That's for sure. And do they respawn? That's a lot of freaking spiders, man. Let's just see if we can take out some simple basic enemies. Alright, so we open skill tree. Okay. Let's go somewhere where we're safe. So left stick pans, right stick cursor. No, that's not the case. Uh, so I bring the cursor on screen. Activate skill. This is everything that we have right now. We have three health. So is it activate? I guess. I don't know. I tried using the cursor. So though it has full controller ah Even though it has full controller support, you may still need that mouse for one or two things. Get away from me. The music's okay. I'm not gonna say it's the the best music I've heard in a an indie game. The levels are coming quick and fast. Oh geez. So you're the boss, huh? Or a boss like? So we'll pick up this extra health. All right, well, look at that. Okay, so that's health. This is increased. I'm not using projectile, so no. Max endurance, endurance regeneration, energy. What are you? Increased movement speed. There we go. And see, as you click on it, things just keep popping into the ether. So this is going to be very interesting. But my thing is for it to have an infinite expanding skill tree, the game has to be infinite. 
Because if you can get to a place where it just ends, then your difficulty doesn't make any sense. It's not astounding that you returned. Not yet. These creatures are harmless compared to the true corrupted monstrosities out there. However, you have helped me to fight off those shadows and saved some of my remaining powers. Therefore, I want to guide you. Follow me through the portal stone. So we reach our hub world, it seems. Give me Bork Bork. I don't know what Bork Bork is. So you can't smack the chickens. Good to know. So we have a blacksmith. We have... Some tells me you teach us spells. Greetings, Wanderer. I almost forgot the madness this invasion has caused us. Chickens, can you shut up for a second? Throwing this place into the abyss. I am trained to read trueness from the written word, but also from those faces. But I discover something different in your eyes. I can see pureness. Do you see about to kill these chickens? Your flame is weak. Unlock new skills. Collect fragments of light. Use fragments of light to unlock new skills. Directly after a skill has been unlocked, they can appear in the skill tree. But I have to admit, you are what this place is waiting for. Good. And all it can hope for. Seek the light, and once you have found some fragments, bring them to me. I can use the power to uncover hidden knowledge, which will enkindle your flame. Shine bright, wanderer. Thanks, lady. I'm talking to the blacksmith. Oh, I thought these wanderers are already history. For ages, no one came by. No one returning with light to feed my flames to craft mighty weapons. Is that Bane? Once you found fragments of light, return to me, and I will forge mighty weapons which will enkindle your flame. Collect fragments of light. I think the music to, to audio balance is kind of off a little bit. I mean, I can fix that myself, but I mean, it's just too much work. Welcome, Wanderer. A city once bright and filled with light is dark and empty now, eclipsed by the shadows from wanderers like you. All became corrupted and turned into monstrosities. Now keeping the darkness gobble, alive, gobble. protecting it, gobble, 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 gobble. for it. My days are counted and my journey gobble, will gobble. come to an end soon. But for the sake of your sparkling eyes, your inner flame, I will do my duty once more and guide you your way. Go out and destroy everything that is corrupted and casting a shadow over this place. Go out, use the portal stone, enkindle your flame and return to me. I like how your character always has to face the camera. Like, even if you move like a, some direction, like they snap back into just staring at you like into your soul. What's over here? More chickens? It's a town with more chickens. Any secrets over here? I go in this house? Nope. What's up here? It's a dead end, but I doubt it's a dead end. Because if it is, why would you make that? It makes no sense. Alright, let's actually get into the game. What is that? He hit me with what? I can leave already? Killer. What is that? Oh, it's a way down to a boss. No. <laughs> 
knows the answer to that one. I am not ready for a boss yet. What is it on our mini map? It's like they're showing me like there's a treasure somewhere. That's weird. Hopefully these hearts don't disappear. I'm swinging. There's a red crystal. Bah, bah. I wonder, there must be like a faster weapon or something. Because even though I have like three bars of stam. Regardless of how fast I swing, I can never use more than one. You almost have me, you son of a bitch. I don't want to know what that is, you shit. So apparently they're not affected by traps. So I assume everything that light hits me means I've leveled up. Oh, Jesus. Or maybe I'm collecting energy to level up? I don't know. Why didn't you pick that up? Get up. Oh, Jesus, that's a big spider. Can I, can I cheese it? I was able... What is that? Ah! Yeah, as soon as he gets the urge to run at me, I... I can remember I can dodge. So while he's out there messing about... I'm coming to smack these guys around. Do I need a key? Yes, I do need a key. This old Victorian looking key. My dude, I'm trying to look at my, my loot. Did y'all just spawn again? How do I know if the staff I picked up is better? Is there... Is there a... Uh... doesn't tell me which one's better. Not there. Toggle skills on and off. Why stats? Uh, I think it says I have seven skill points to use. That's the map. I just want to know if this is better than what I had. Is there a way to figure that out? Projectile speed, projectile damage, 1-1. One, one. Okay. So I picked this up. Projectile speed, projectile damage, 1. But, 
it. But is that just stats or my, does that include what I have already? So let's pick this up. Yeah, I got no damn clue, man. So that's not helpful. Guess we'll finish sweeping the floor. You thought you were gonna run up on me? What is that? Maybe the weapons are just cosmetic. And all your damage has to come from... Upgrades. Ooh. So that killed him in two shots. Which is faster than my three swings of my sword. Another dead end. So I guess we'll go... Not there. Let's make sure there's nothing up here that we missed. Just a couple jerks. And I guess we'll go spend some time using skill points before we go fight the boss. I assume I'll just respawn. Because I know I'll clear this area out. Wasn't there like a... That's not what I wanted to do. I start to believe my hope in you was not false and my spent energy not wasted. I'm astonished your weak flame did not get blown out immediately. These are breezy times. Great winds are brewing. All those shadows you have wiped out did not bring back the light we once had. You have to find the scattered fragments and bring them back. Of course, you will return. Wouldn't you? Time will tell. You have to go out again, but this time you have to reach deeper into the darkness. Strive for the light and return to me when you found it. Like, there should have been some type of indication that I was leaving... that area. So one of you jerks has a key. Oh man, it takes so many freaking swings. Are you an enemy? Okay. Which one of you jerks has... I imagine that snake probably has the key. I would be 100% correct on that one. And I'm doing no damage to him at all. This is not going to end well for me. I'm just magically making it worse over and over again by running. I 
I don't feel like they stop spawning. Where do y'all keep coming from? I just need some space to think about this. I think he stopped chasing me for a few minutes. You try to close on me, huh? Time to go back and pick up some hearts. Let's keep him in the corner. Yeah, they just don't stop spawning. That sucks. At least the fire is eating him alive. Keep working him around in a circle. Three, four more, you should be good. That was just painful, is the best word to describe that. Is that the way out? Is that the way to a different stage? Like, I don't know. our sword out. Smack these little lizards in the face. Why would I do that? I'm doing no damage. So, time to switch weapons. Seems to be doing some damage. Ow. Can you come out of that little crevice that you're locked into and, and fight me? I tell you what, I definitely need to uh, use my skills because I think that's kind of a hindrance at the moment that I can't find more than a couple times. Ah. Run for it, Marty! So they're half dead. Get away from me. Don't you touch me. I'm doing just spamming the attack button as hard as possible. I feel like my attacks aren't affecting you as they used to. One more attack and you should be done. Come here. Bah. No. Bah. Uh, I definitely want this glowing, magnificent sword.
Looks like it does fire damage. Oh my... So that did three hits. One, two... Three hits with burning damage. Any other enemies we can test this on? And of course you just keep running away. Seriously? You know what, I'm going to stick with what I got. Come here. Is that another hammer? That is another hammer. I'm assuming a mini boss weapon has to be a better weapon than... than a weapon out of a chest. But since there's no way for me to check the weapon stats... It's hard to be 100% sure. Already have that. It's the way out. Presumably that's the way out. And then I don't enter a random portal and be transported away. You not even try to shoot your little poison shield? Look at me run! Look at me go! So I'm not going in the blue portal. Because that's in me back last time. I know that for a fact. You jackass. Oh, just keep coming back, huh? At least there's plenty of um, health on the ground. That is one thing that is a lifesaver. So I'm fine with my sword, I'm fine with this. So before we go into that, we have 16 points. To use. So summon a ravaging companion on enemy death. I mean why not? I definitely want attack speed up. This is increased projectile damage, yes. Yes. Uh, your melee attack has a 50% chance to create a wind shock. Which knocks back at all enemies in front of you. Wind shock scale size with AoE size. What is this? Give me max endurance. Give me that. I'm really looking for... Your melee damage is increased. 
Oh, I can go that direction. Sweet. Um, what are you? Scattering dodge. Your dodge throws projectile. I mean, I don't really dodge anyway because I'm terrible at that. Injurization. Max health. Health is always a good thing. Max is max energy one more. I'm not sure that's what I'm looking for. You do an additional melee hit when you're hitting enemies. So I'm gonna go here, to here, to here. Increase melee damage. And that's good for now. We've Okay, now, our attacks use all our bars, so... But if we go to here and to here... Hopefully it was worth it. What the... It... Oh... So now my attacks are a lot less. So we're just going to chill. And we died. All right, Legion, let's go do our look at uh, Striving for Light. Um, it's interesting, I'll give it that. I, the infinite skill tree is very interesting, but by upgrading your weapon, you limit the amount of swings you can do, so I have a swing that's so powerful, but I only can use it once, like every 10 seconds, I mean, that doesn't... That doesn't help you. That actually is a big hindrance overall. Um, but if you enjoyed it, there will be a link to the description below. You can go pick it up on Steam at the moment. It's in early access. And it's on sale right now for 4 bucks. I'm definitely going to send some notes to developers about maybe some uh, quality of life changes. Um, telling you like uh, the skills of each weapon would be helpful. Like when you get into a portal, telling you what that portal is about to do to you would be very helpful. So you don't accidentally leave a stage or accidentally walk into a boss trap room or fight a sub-boss without you knowing it. That seems unnecessary. Uh, the voice acting is not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Um, but I'm going to leave it with an okay at the moment. We may return this in the future, but uh, we'll have to see. If you enjoyed the video, as always, I ask you to like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed already to be notified when more of my indie content goes up. Hope you have a wonderful day regardless of when you're watching this. And as of course, as always, I'll haunt you later. Fucking chickens. <laughs>